Sí. Sí. Yeah, give me a shirt, Spawn. Okay, here in a moment, we're going to have uh, Vito Arujo in the 133-pound championship. Vito is from Cornell. I apologize. Give me one moment. Take your time, Vito. Got you a bottle of water there, if you like. Oh, I'll get one later. Okay. okay. Vito, if you could get us started with some general comments about your just-finished semifinal match. Yeah, you know, I, um, I've been – this is kind of the – the main point I guess I've been preaching this tournament. Um, last year, I felt that it was a lot of my improvement at a mental stage in my, my preparation that really allowed me to shine. Um, this year, that was not the case. This, this year uh, was something that, you know, I've never really had to really fight through before, was, you know, uh, injuries, debilitating injuries that, that you know, for some time, I thought, you know, I wasn't going to be able to wrestle this season. Um, and it was really through um, Cornell, Cornell support system, the Cornell wrestling program, our alumni, our, you know, just broad spectrum that um, really allowed me to be able to stay in here today and compete the way that I usually do. Um, I feel super, super blessed, super honored to have those people in my corner. Um, so. You know, whereas last year I think I would have accredited the work, work to, to me to, to finally getting that, that, uh, that next jump, I feel like this year is more than anything thanks to uh, Cornell Wrestling and the support staff with it. Okay, please remember to give us, um, get, raise your hand, we'll get a microphone to you, give us your name and affiliation. Vito Mike fit for win again. Um, could you explain at all what your health status was this year that limited you to so much thing? And also, you are a world champion in freestyle. Was there any point that you said, the heck with this college stuff, and I'll just focus on the trials? So I'll start with the second part, uh, first off. Um, yeah, there was definitely some, you know, you know there's a, there a lot of talk of the oldest person in the NCAA. I'm getting out in the numbers, so I didn't exactly want to red shirt and then come back to it next year, so I wanted to kind of finish out my, my academic career uh, and then allow myself that freedom into, to go into my um, you know, professional career because uh, I plan to wrestle many years after I finish this year, this one right here. Um, as far as what my injuries actually were, I, um, there was a number of them, right? Uh, I ended up first match of the season or second or whatever, the, the first uh, where I wrestled Crookham for the first time. Um, I sustained a, a pretty massive concussion, um, which took me out of the mat for, off the mat for close to a month. Returning back from that, I had, uh, when I got my concussion, I landed on my head, I had uh, injured some of the vertebrae in my neck. Um, and then that was contributing to some neural pain going down my arm, um, uh, which ultimately, you know, in the worst parts of it, uh, wouldn't let me use my hand. I, I would I lose complete feeling in my arm. Um, so it was it was a really stressful, really something that I've never really had to deal with was, you know, the pain I can work through, but my body just not working the way I want it to is something I've never really experienced. Um, so it was a, even in a mental mental place was very difficult to work through. And thank, thankfully through our alumni base um, and like I said our support staff, I was able to find the help that I needed, uh, you know, it was really, it, it was all to them, you know, to points where I had given up, um, and they wouldn't give up on me, uh, so that's why I'm here today. Okay, we got a question in the back, um, and then we'll come back to the front. Yeah, yeah, so, so, yeah. Go ahead. We're going to start over here. Over there? Okay. Yep, Kyle Klingman with Flow Wrestling. You referenced last year and the level you reached. How did you reach that such high level last year, and how close are you to the level that you were at last year? Um, thankfully, I don't think that, you know, I think I'm a little out of practice uh, because, like I said, I was, I was on the mat, off the mat, on the mat, off the mat, so I really didn't get the amount of training that I'm, usually, I'm, I'm used to, right? So for that, I feel like, I was a little rusty, even at EIWA's last weekend, uh, I was a little rusty and my, my competition sense wasn't really there. Um, and I feel like taking that loss and especially where, you know, earlier in the season I took a loss, but I was massively concussed and couldn't wrestle for close to a month after. So there was no follow up to it, you know. 
Uh, I had lost last weekend, and there was some follow-up. There was two weeks of really good, focused training that I, I, I missed so much. Um, as far as what, what I did last year to this year, uh, I, I hope I didn't really decay too much. Uh, if anything, I feel like um, as wrestlers, we face adversity, and it makes us stronger, right? So I feel like this is me building up on from what I did last year and knowing that I can do it no matter what. Let's go over here to the right. Uh, Peter, I'm Brad Wilson from Lehigh Valley Live in the Eastern Express Times. Uh, the first two times you wrestled Kirkham, he took you down twice in the match, and tonight you just totally dominated. What was the biggest difference on the mat tonight from the first two times? Um, you know, I, I don't think I did, uh, you know, the wrestling community or Crookham any justice when I wrestled him. Um, you know, I don't think that he necessarily got, you know, he, the first time he got me coming off of a month off of wrestling after the world championship, you know, I was just thinking I was going to walk through or do a couple opens, you know, so I wasn't prepared. Um, I didn't give him the respect that he deserved. Uh, and he, he is a God's honest, um, good wrestler. You know, he's got some very bright future ahead of him. Um, but I don't think that he necessarily met Vito on the mat until tonight. Um, and that's what I think uh, really happened. Okay, let's go over here to the left. Ryan Holmes, Matt. Vito, we talked yesterday, and you, know, you talked about your injury and how you just weren't confident in what you do very well. How did that change tonight? And what was your mindset going into the third match with Crookham, knowing where your health was and where your mental state was? Um, you know, I think the biggest, <sighs> the biggest thing that I had going for me this time around was I, my, my, mental, my physical state was not as nearly as fluctuant. You know, I'm in a pretty stable place now. And like I had said before, that was, that's all thanks to the Cornell support staff and Cornell Wrestling as a program. Um, but I'm in a very, well, decently stable place. Obviously, I haven't wrestled a, a really long tournament like this in a while, so I'm pretty sore. But uh, beside that, I am feeling pretty good. Uh, you know, my, oh, oh, you know, that, that one big slam uh, kind of got me a little bit. But, um, you know, and then my knee, my knee healed up very nicely from the finals of EIWA uh, last week. Um, but, yeah, just, just coming into this match, it was a lot of just, trying to do what I do best, and that is allow the wrestling to happen. Don't force, don't be scared, don't think. Just go out there and wrestle um, and in an aggressive manner. Stay on it, um, work through positions. These are all things that I do very well, and it is what led to my success last year at NCAAs, at the World Championships, and now again today, and hopefully tomorrow as well. Okay, any other questions for Vito? Oh, another one over here on the left. Was there anything that he does well that you focused on at all? Because, like I said, he's beaten you twice already. Mm -hmm. There's been a long time since you've had two losses to the same guy. Was there anything that you focused on that he does well that you knew you needed to stop in order to get your offense going? Yeah, yeah. There was definitely some uh, familiarity, at the very least, you know. Um, that one misdirection high crotch shot, it's a very good shot. He got me with me, he got with me with it on multiple occasions. Um, and, you know... To me, me watching the whole setup, being like, "This isn't gonna get me," and then he gets there, and I'm like, "Oh, dang," you know. Um, but he is. Uh, uh, you're referring to Crookham, correct? Yeah. Sorry. Maybe I hit my head a little too hard, you know. Um, you know, he's got. A, he's got a very gamey sense to him. He's he, he's waiting. He's watching. He's waiting for that perfect moment. Um, and my game plan tonight was not to give it to him. It was to stay on the offense and and just do. What I do best, I don't need to, my best way for me to quote unquote game plan someone is to lean into the things that I do very well um, and do those things very well. <laughs> okay, we got time for one more question for Vito. Anybody want it? I think we're good. I think we're good, Vito. Oh. Congratulations. Thank you. I All appreciate right. it, guys. Good luck to you tomorrow. Thank you. Have a good one.